Suk Muay Thai Pantemit from Sanam Muay Tupatemi Royal Thai Air Force Boxing Stadium in Patum Thani. The show was broadcasted live on JKN TV September 4th, 2023. The main event was contested for the Professional Boxing Association of Thailand Super Bantamweight 122 pounds title. The matchup pitted Chatploy Sawpun Sawat against Petsila Wa Uracha. Both boxers weighed in for the bout at 122 pounds. Chat ploy Swapun Sawat in the red corner was a 5 to 4 favorite on the pre fight odds. Not much happened in rounds 1 and 2. Both rounds were scored 10 10. And so the bout will pick up here in the third round. Chapoy rushing forward behind his teeth. Chapoy loves long range weapons, his teeth primarily. Petsila threw his left side there, his left kick, and then he was countered by Chatboy. Petsila closed in there, but he wasn't squared up, and Chatboy was able to get around his back there and then dump him to the ground. Good teep there from Chaploy, and then he framed off and pushed off, and then angled out. It's beautiful. That, that is his style. His Moy Teep, he's a long range fighter. Oh! Beautiful catch and counter from Petsila. He's pointing at the cut. Chat Ploy was firing off consecutive kicks with his guard down and Petsila was able to catch the kick and then with his backside stepped in with an elbow right down the middle and it sliced open Chat Ploy's face. Petsila pointed at the cut to get acknowledgement from the gamblers. Also, the referee. Chapoy, early in this third round, was he was like blitzing forward from uh, from range because he was trying to draw a reaction to get Petsila up on one leg, and then he was going to try and off balance him. So that's why he kept doing those really quick kicks. And it kind of backfired. He, and he ended up uh, kicking. Petsila got in. And sliced his face open with the elbow. Chapoy still. He's he's uh, saving face here. He's going off the back foot. He's trying. He's still trying to go second here. But Petsila at this point can just walk forward. And him walking forward, he's, he's forcing Chaploy to have to go first. Here's a replay of the elbow. This was the big moment of the third round. And it clearly gave Petsilla the third round. There was consecutive kicks there. He had his guard down, and Petsila made him pay for it. So kicks twice, goes low, and then middle kick. Petsila catches the middle kick and steps in with the elbow. A 
that's the worst case scenario for chat ploy. So, now on to the fourth round. Chaploy has to have a sense of urgency now because he lost the third. There, he tried to catch Hetzila's leg there and dump him. He, he wasn't able to disrupt Petsila's balance and then Petsila caught his leg and threw him down there. So Petsila up now in the fourth round. Early in the fourth round, Petsila extending his lead. And what is being displayed here in this fourth round is that Petsila has a stronger, more sturdy stance. Every time the two clash, Petsila is like perfectly still, and Chaploy is getting moved around, and wrestled to the ground. In the fourth round now, Chaploy now in full acknowledgement that he's losing. There's a huge left kick from Petsila. Chaploy went first, and Petsila countered with a heavy left kick that knocked Chaploy off position. Chaploy now, he has to go first. He's in full acknowledgement that he's far behind now. Petsila catches and dumps him again. ตัดล่างเล่นงานทางด้านของจับพลอยกองกระพื้นเวทีครับแก้คืนกันทันควันเลยนะครับโดนขวาแล้วกวาดล่างอ้าวผีขวาครับทำลายจังหวะไปก่
ั้นนะครับบรรยากาศวุ่นวายอีกแล้วนะครับภายในสนามครับแค่ขวาใส่เข้าไปจัดพลอยครับค่อยๆซึมนะครับตอนนี้ต้องบอกว่าอีลุงตุงนักไปหมดแล้วนะครับอีลุงตุงนักไปหมดแล้วครับเอาขยับเข้าไปได้ไม่ได้แข้งขวาติดบังดูครับ What a fainting from Chap Boy! He's still trying to draw reactions so he can off balance Petsila. Petsila is pretty much just moving, angling off, and walking because he comfortably took and clearly took rounds three and four. But he really doesn't even have to attack the entire fifth round. He can just stand there and block. And uh, on, on the pre-fight odds, Chap Poi was a 5-4 favorite, which is, could be a bit surprising because Petsila is a bigger name. Who has more titles and accolades in his career? And he, he's younger; he's only 19 years old. But he already has uh, a list of titles and accolades in his career. And he, he's a big name in the sport, so it might be a surprise that Chap Poi was. The favorite on the pre-fight odds, but Chap Poi was in better form coming into this bout. He had won several bouts in a row. But Chap Poi, he fights for a different promoter. His promoter is Pet Indi. That's his promotion, and he he pretty much fights top tier guys every bout. So he doesn't get easy easy matchups. So that's kind of why he was the underdog in this one, a slight under underdog, but it's because his form wasn't as good as Chap Poi's. But they fight for different promoters. Chap Poi's promoter doesn't have as many guys as uh, Petsila's promotion, Pet Indi. It's probably the strongest promotion right now. That super bantamweight, 122 pounds. And Petsila is one of the top bantamweights for sure. Super bantamweights for sure. There's that catch and counter elbow. That was beautiful as the moment of the fight. It was all downhill after that for uh, Chapel. He actually started that third round in uh, his typical fashion. He, he was looking for the off-balancing techniques. He was trying to draw reactions, get Petsila on one leg, and then off-balance him. And then he could get Petsila to come forward. And that's how he likes to fight, get the opponent to come forward, keep angle off. And you know, he doesn't win with attacks, he wins with off-balancing techniques. And that's just hard to do against Petsila because he's got a strong stance. And Petsila was just very confident that he could he could just walk forward and find a moment like that. So I scored about 49 or 48, 49. He's a bat, he's a gal. Petsila was Urachan, he's 49. กรรมการให้คะแนนท่านที่สองครับอนุพงศ์สากุลครับให้นักชกทางด้านมุมแดงครับจัดพลอยสี่สิบแปดคะแนนครับให้นักชกทางด้านมุมน้ำเงินนะ
Coming into this battle, I believe that Chaploy was going to be able to outsmart Petsila. But Petsila is just too fundamentally sound, and he's also physically stronger. And he's just able to find his moment and win the bout with good fundamentals and technique.